Hi, everyone. Uh, thanks for the introduction. Uh, and uh, so I will present our work, TrustJoy, integrating Trust Zone with mobile operating system. So, so these days, users conduct their most of daily activities on the smartphones. However, uh, some activity will be in risk in case the underlying operating system is compromised. So using Android CVE as an example, so the vulnerability are keep increasing over the last decade. And among these vulnerabilities, some of them could lead to the compromise of the OS. And the attacker will get the full control of all the user activity that are conduct on this uh, smartphone. So give a concrete example. So when you log in, the attacker could uh, potentially uh, get your credentials. And also, the attacker could even get a spoof action on behalf of the smartphone user, like doing the money, uh, money transfer. So a technology called the trusted execution environment has been introduced to address this very important security problem. And the one of the representative uh, the technology using is called Trustzone, which is shipped with all the ARM-based mobile platform. So the trust zone have the concept of the normal world and the secure world. So the normal world is going to run the Android OS and the normal applications. And the secure world is running a very small OS called TE OS and uh, some trust applications also called the TA. So briefly introduce some of the existing work that are using trust zone. So one of the representative one is Samsung Pay. What they did is they actually secured the user payment token inside the trust zone. And every time when users need to make a payment, they have to uh, authorize the inside the secure before the payment happened. So another work is a Bitcoin Ledger. So they work with one of the TE vendor called uh, Trustonic to build a Bitcoin transaction confirmation inside the secure. That means every time when a transaction happened, so the trust zone is going to generate a proof of the transaction and send to the Bitcoin uh, Ledger server. So given the trust zone offers so many security measures, uh, however, the current adoption rate of the trust zone is only limited to certain app developers that they are those who own the devices, like the Samsung, or those who uh, that work with the TE vendors, like the Bitcoin ledgers. So just briefly introduce the what kind of effort that currently the developer need to take in order to use trust zone. So first, they have to build some application specific that TA that work with the particular vendors. Then they have to use the methods that the vendors provided to deploy that TA. So third, the, uh, the application, the current application in the norm would also require them to change uh, using the, the render SDK to work with the logic inside secure. So we think that the current application developer take too much effort in order to use the trust them. And this comes to our motivation. So we want to simplify this process. So we want the application uh, developer to leverage the trust zone to protect the, the user's use cases with small change to the application. So the small change to us means first, so the normal web application should be using the existing OS interfaces to leverage trust zone. And second, there should be no application specific logic inside the secure world. And the, the, the TA which is support the normal world should be generic. So why there should be no application specific logic? So the main reason is the app specific logic is what broaden the normal world attack surface. So we don't want this to happen in the secure world. So let's use the example to see that what kind of the benefit it can bring if every app can use trust zone. So let's say normally when you do the logging, the apps could embed a special that the add text field to take input uh, in the trust zone then user is going to input the password inside trust zone and the password is going to save inside. So when the password is sent to the server, it's going to encrypt inside the trust zone, then send to the server. So in this case, the, uh, the normal web malicious OS will not be able to know what's being sent to server. So another example is doing the money transfer. So users could still the, uh, did most of the activities of the money transfer inside normal, normal web. But right before they send the, the money, so they should confirm inside the trust zone with all the confirmation showing inside the trust zone. Then user confirm inside. And the server also want to know that actually the user is confirmed the transaction inside the trust zone. So a, an attestation will be generated and sent along with the normal request to the server. 
So the malicious OS will not be able to change this request as well as not be able to spoof the actions on behalf of that user. So then come to our research problem. We summarized the previous use cases into the following model. So as an app, so it takes the user's input and the confirmation through the UI. Then to send to the server, it goes through the existing network uh, protocols like the HTTP and SSL, which are the most widely used protocol. So to protect such use cases, we have some high-level design constraints. So first, we want the app to using the existing OS interfaces to send out the traffic. And the second, we want the no application specific logic to be deployed inside the trussel. And the third, we also want to minimize the TCB uh, for our design. So then our problem will be further divided into two parts. First is how can we protect the, the UI interaction. And the second is how can we protect the, the, the server communication so give an overview of our design. So to protect the UI interaction, we allow the apps to reusing the existing the, the Android input framework to, and we actually modify this, the input framework, and we design the generic TA inside the trust room to work with the framework. So to protect the, the, the server communication, so we allow the app to reusing the existing the network protocols, which is the HTTP and SSL, so our main idea to secure the, the communication with the server is we split the SSL. So we're doing all the encryption inside the trussum. And the, to minimize the TCP, we don't want to include the, the, the network stack inside the secure world. So we allow the, the normal world to send the traffic to the server. So as a summary of our uh, the design component, we have two parts. One is to secure the UI interactions. Another one is secure the server communication. So during this talk, I'm going to present uh, one challenge from each component and the full details of all the, pro uh, the basic design you can find in the paper. So first, the UI interaction. Uh, one sentence to summarize is the challenge we're facing is how can we maintain a binding between the UI and the code? So what does this mean? Uh, let's give an example. So first, normally when you have UI, uh, when, you, when apps write UI, you include UI and also the apps need to provide the corresponding code. And the, the underlying the OS is going to provide a binding between the UI and the code to make sure when the UI is clicked, the corresponding code is clicked. And uh, because the nature of the trust zone, in order to protect the UI, you have to move the UI interaction into the secure world. And this means that this piece of the UI is going to run in a different OS. And because our design constraint, we want the apps to reusing the existing OS interfaces. That means that the code that remain in the normal world pretty much remain the same thing. And this piece of code need to right now maintain a binding across the OS. Right now, such as missing, so that cause a broken binding. So that's basically the main challenge we want to face for the UI part. So to solve the problem, we'll give a concrete example of the text input. Basically, we want to protect the, the text input like the password. So normally when apps uh, get text input, they usually embed uh, add a text field. And the underlying OS is going to set up a binding to the keyboard UI to make sure that the keyboard, the, when the keyboard is pressed, the, the, key, the key store is going to return to the right uh, add text. But in order to protect the, the in input, we have to move the keyboard inside the T. So that's caused a broken binding between the, the normal word add text and the, the UI, the keyboard UI in the secure world. So our main idea to solving this is we first need to handle the, the, the keyboard, uh, the click inside the secure world by providing a generic TA. Then we provide, in the normal world, we provide a proxy IME app. So to basically allow the ad text to communicate with the, the proxy IME. Then we're going to also, the, this proxy IME is going to communicate with the, that our TA to get the return value from the, from the TA. So one thing you need to be notified, notice is our TA, uh, once the user input inside, the TA is going to return the reference of the input, not the input itself. So return back to the edit text. And through this way, we actually maintain a binding between the normal world that the code and as well as the, the UI inside the secure. So given that the path, uh, let's say the input is already secured inside the trust zone, so our next question is, in most of the cases, this secret is going to be processed by the server side, like your password, your credit card. 
So we need to find a way to send out the secret to the, uh, to the server through the normal network stack. And during this process, we need to go through the malicious OS, and, uh, but we don't want the, let's say, the secret to be leaked out. Okay, this is, this is our design overview of our secure sending design. So many, uh, many include two layers. One is HTTP layer, which is the basically application interface layer to for the server communication. And then the SSL layer. For the HTTP layer, the main challenge that we need to face is how can we reuse the existing the HTTP the interface to send out basically the trust zone, uh, trust zone intention uh, through multiple the network layer. And for the SSL layer, so the main uh, idea uh, that we did is we actually protect the session key inside the trust zone. And we did all the encryption, the SSL encryption inside the trust zone. And for this step, actually we went through several uh, design alternatives in the paper. We also actually implemented several uh, the failure attempts. So eventually uh, we think that these two sentences are the most important for a good SSL splitting design. So which we need to find a clean cut inside the SSL. And as well as we will need to maintain a minimal set of the SSL state inside the trust zone. So the main reason for doing this is because the SSL itself is very complex. So during today's talk, I'm only going to uh, focusing on the, just the final uh, successful version of the SSL splitting designs and the full details and all the security analysis of the, this, uh, all the communication you can find in the paper. So we further divided the SSL into two parts. One is SSL session and another is crypto. So the normal order is going to maintain the SSL session with the server. And the, the, the basically to maintain the connection as well as to storm the majority of the SSL state. And the, when the SSL needs to do crypto, it send the essential SSL state to, to the secure. Secure will finish all the crypto logic. And then so it's going to return the result back. So the result could be either the encrypted data, which means that the normal order will not be able to know it, or the reference of the, the data that we want to basically keep inside the trust zone. So uh, just to briefly introduce that, basically the prototype that we are using uh, for, for doing the evaluation and the implement our designs. So right now you can see this diagram, uh, this is the platform we are using, a little bit messy, and do you see a lot of wires there? So we are keep improving this uh, right now and uh, to make it look more nice, okay. And uh, just briefly introduce what each component does. The high key board is the board that we uh, contain the trust zone and we are running both the Android OS and the secure OS called the OPT run on this OS. And uh, this is the screen that we are using. And then we actually uh, designed a hardware, uh, we have to implement a hardware design that uh, can isolate the, the screen in the circular level. So, so, the, so basically the normal world, the Android OS is a full functional OS and it contains the driver to drive these screens. So actually when we implement this, we encounter a problem that the secure world, the OPT OS, it's a very uh, small, tiny OS and it does not have any driver support. So to solving the problem to drive the, the, the screen in the secure world, we actually introduced another the, the Raspberry Pi board, uh, to, which have all the driver support on that screen. So we secure the communication between the, the secure world and the Raspberry Pi using the serial communication. Uh, the UART, which is by default, you can secure it by the OPD. And this means that the single screen is going to receive the signal from both worlds. So to, to, to deal with that, we actually introduce two switches. So each switch is going to, basically the switch is going to get two input and basically output uh, as one. And so this way, uh, we actually can basically add the single screen to get a signal from two worlds. And each switch actually have two LED indicate. And the one thing to mention is these two switches are also secured by the, by the trust zone. So that, uh, we also did the evaluation from four aspects. So first aspect is the, the effectiveness. We actually developed several use cases. And then to demonstrate the ease of adoption of our solutions, we apply our solutions on both open source application and the closed source application. So we also did the usability study on the mechanical Turk of our system and the performance analysis. The results are quite positive. And uh, you can find the, basically the details of our result in the paper. So that concludes my talk. So we create an easy to use trust zone solutions for all the mobile applications. And we did the analysis on our trust joint designs. We implement this on the real applications. And we did the evaluation on our system. And thanks.
and I'll be happy to take the questions.